Right, okay, so our last type of solving trigonometric equations is using the wave function. And just a reminder that if you need to go and look over how to solve wave functions, those are in expressions and formula. And it is, or formulae, and it's videos 12, 11 and 12. So if you're not sure how to solve wave functions, um, go back and watch those and then return to here. So um, we are going to solve one equation here using the wave function. Again, like nothing is hugely changing here on how we solve it, just how we get it into that form that we can solve it is using um, the wave function. So if we're going to do square root of 3 sine x minus cos x equals 2. And we're going to solve this between x and 2 pi. Oh, we have radians. I haven't done an example with radians in the videos yet, but thought I should do. Right. So when we're solving this, we hear how do we know it's a wave function question first is we've got sine x and we have cos x. There's nothing there that we can um, substitute in, like it's not sine 2x or cos 2x or anything like that. So we can't just go in and um, sort it that way. So the way we're going to have to sort it is using the wave function. Okay, so we're going to have to do the square root of 3 sine x minus cos x, and we're going to have to make this equal to something. So we're going to have to pick one of our options. So it's either going to be k cos x plus or minus alpha or k sine x plus or minus alpha. Right, so if we're looking at our function here, we have sine take away cos. We could use any of these four and we will get the same answer, right? But there's generally one that makes the most sense to pick. Um, and we're going to make the most sense to pick as the one that has sine x minus cos x in it. So here, when we expand these, we're going to have cos then sine, which is not what we want because we've got sine then cos. So here, when we multiply this out, we're going to get sine x and then we're going to get cos x. So it's going to be one of these. And the one that gives us the minus is the minus, gives us a minus in our answer. So we're going to use k sine x minus alpha. But like I said already, like if you're completely stuck and it doesn't give you which one to choose, choose any of them. They will all give you the same answer. It might just mean you've got a little bit more work to do, but it's not making it impossible. Right, so when we multiply that out, we get k sine x cos alpha minus k cos x sine alpha. So that is giving us that k cos alpha is the square root of 3 and that k sine alpha equals 1. So we have k squared equals the square root of the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared. So that's 3 plus 1, so the square root of 4, which is 2. Again, if you're stuck with these, go back, look at the videos for the wave function. Um, and then we have tan alpha equals k sine alpha over k cos alpha, which is 1 over the square root of 3. Okay, so here we've got our triangle, which is 1, 2, square root of 3. Tan is opposite over adjacent. It's going to be this one up here, which is pi over 6. So alpha is equal to pi over 6. Right, so that is giving us now that we can rearrange this to say that 2 sine of x minus pi over 6 is equal to 2. Right, so we can rearrange again to give us that sine of x minus pi over 6 is equal to 1. 
um, by dividing both sides by 2. Okay, so then if we think about it, sine is equal to 1 at 90 degrees, which is pi over 2. So that gives us x minus pi over 6 is equal to pi over 2. So therefore, x is equal to pi over 2 plus pi over 6. So if we put them both over 6, we're going to get 3 pi over 6 plus pi over 6. So 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. And that's our answer, okay? So as you can see, the only difference here is using the wave function. Um, there's nothing there in actually solving it once you've done the wave function that's new. We've been doing those for a while, but this is the way to work through with radians. Um, if you've got any other questions, let me know, but that's us done with solving trigonometric equations. Um, our next topic is differentiation. Um, please like the video or comment if you need any further explanations for this. Um, thank you for watching.